gaming mice have gotten incredibly expensive, like upwards of $200 to $300. But what if I told you that my daily driver as a PC gamer is a $35 mouse from a small brand that many people have never heard of. This is the Red Dragon M811 RGB Pro. And let me just tell you that for $35 at its price point or at any price point, really, I mean, there are literally competitors that cost $200 more, I'm looking at you, Razer, that can't do it as well as this can do it for $35. I've always loved Red Dragon stuff. I mean, I have this mouse. I have two of these actually, 35 bucks. I got one for my laptop downstairs. I have another Red Dragon mouse I use for work. I've got a Red Dragon keyboard here. Like I am all Red Dragon. This is, and it's cheap. And I bought it originally when I didn't have a ton of money and I was buying my original gaming rig and I just picked it up and I've just loved it so much. I haven't found the need to go to these super expensive brands but this video is about the mouse. So first let's talk about the form factor and weight on this thing. So, I mean, this thing is really pretty light. Uh, I would say it's on the heavier end of sort of Red Dragon mouses. And you know, in this price range, if you look, this is another Red Dragon mouse here. And you can see here, this one is, it's a basic one. It's probably $25 instead of 30. Doesn't have as many buttons here, um, but like relatively basic, it uses a AA battery. This uses a USB-C port there on the top, as you can see. And it is on the heavier side, on the bigger hand side. But as you can see, I was born with short fingers and I am absolutely fine, even though I can't even reach all the way up. It's great for a palm grip, not as good for a claw grip, I can imagine, more for a palm grip, scroll, button, button, there you go. I love the pinky rest over here. It's amazing, right? And I love the thumb rest right here. It's fantastic. It just really form fits with your hand like very, very nicely. You can see it works extremely well. Great optical sensor there. And it charges, as I said, on USB-C. <laughs> you know, you get a couple hours out of it, a few hours out of it. It doesn't have a crazy battery. I'm probably not giving it enough credit. I mean, realistically, this probably honestly like gives you, I don't know, six, seven hours of battery life. Not a ton, you know, but it'll start to wear down. And then you're kind of like, okay, I got to plug it into USB-C. The thing charges in like 20, 30 minutes. You're all good to go. It's no big deal. You can use a wired variation of this. So if you plug this USB-C right into this, there. I mean, you can just use it forever and use it wired. Um, it does connect with a USB dongle, which I am absolutely fine with. I think honestly that these dongles work great. I've never had a problem with one of these USB dongles. I think the latency is fantastic. The connectivity is great. I never have any issues with connectivity. And as I said, I have two of these things. But here is the kicker. Here's the real reason why this thing is a game changer. There are a lot of mice on the market that talk about buttons, okay? So, you know, you can see standard mouse. This is sort of your standard gaming mouse type buttons. You have the two on the side, the two on the top. This is a button in some fancier mouses. This is a, 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 a scroll wheel that you can actually loosen up to do like infinite scroll or whatever. And then you have the left and right clicks. I mean, this is sort of like the standard like Logitech everybody has it type thing. Sometimes there's an extra button thrown in there, but this is like the standard gaming mouse buttons. And you may say, oh, well, that's fine. I've got my keybinds on the other things. Now, listen, I know that I am different because I was born with short fingers. And being born with short fingers, if you watch another video, I'll put a link in the description. I talk about how I use this amazing little thing, this Mac stick to uh, actually control instead of using WASD. If I can get it to focus there. Um, so I'll put a link to that video in the description. But whether you're using WASD or not, let me tell you that having keybinds on your thumb over here, instead of relying on the left hand, no matter how you do it, whether you use a stick like me, whether you use WASD or some other binds along the lines of WASD, let me tell you, having them on the right hand is fantastic. But what do you need to have over there? How many buttons do you have? And what is the size and shape of the buttons? Like that's the real kicker for me. So if you have a mouse like this, like a standard mouse, you're only gonna be able to do essentially four binds. Sometimes you can bind the middle mouse to something. I usually don't get into that. You know, that's all that you have. So chances are you're gonna be doing all the major stuff anyway on your keyboard. Spacebar, Alt, Control, Shift, all the things that you need to do. I don't do that obviously, but even if you did, you could. 
but this is where it shines. So there are so many MMO mouses on the market, like these mouses that have like a billion different buttons. And you may look at this and you may say it has a billion different buttons, but trust me, this mouse does not have as many as some of the others that have like 20, 25 buttons or something like that that are programmable on the other side of it. Because you see here, you have very simply four programmable buttons here, two programmable buttons here, two up here, and then that's programmable, and this and this, that's it, right? Easy peasy, right? The thing is, why, I, why this is the best mouse ever <laughs> is because this is absolutely the sweet spot. It's the sweet spot with this stuff because it's just enough buttons where they're not overwhelming. Like I'm always going to mess it up. You'll see on those huge MMO mouses, I have so many different buttons that I can click. There's like 20 different options. There's just no way I would be able to do them super, super duper quickly. They're also bigger and that's fantastic. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all programmable to whatever you want, and then this, and then this. So I am able to have exactly the right amount of buttons to essentially do every single keybind that I could ever need for any game that you would normally do. And let me tell you how I do it. I don't have to use keys at all <laughs> the way that I do it. I mean, I'm using the MacStick Pro here. You can see it right here to do the controller on the left. Let's just say instead you were using WASD, right? And then maybe you could use one, two, three if you wanted, if you found it very easy to switch to your different weapons that way or something like that. Okay, so I've got E bound to this, F bound to this button, okay? This button is my DPI switcher. If I want to change the DPI, if I just get into a weird situation with the game, I usually am not in that situation. and I don't play competitive shooters, so I don't bother with it. Over here, I have spacebar to this. So as I'm playing, I'm hitting it with this part of my thumb, the back part of my thumb, spacebar, jump, 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 jump. And this is R for reload, right? So, you know, our violent games always have their guns, okay? We always got to be reloading. So since we always need to be reloading, we're hitting R with that. One here, I have C for crouch. This is Q, and you know you get the idea. I think we have control here, maybe tab, and um, I have a button here, which is always just sort of bound to whatever health is. I obviously go in and change some of the key binds every now and then in actual games to match these things. And then I personally have one, two, and three here for like weapon switching and, and things like that. That's everything I need and I'm able to get that kind of precision that I want while being able to just say, oh, here, C, 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 Q, C, Q, E, F, E, F, R, F, R, jump. It's fantastic. There is a competitor called the Razer Naga Pro, and this is a, I think, $200 or more mouse. There's two of them, so the v, there's the V2 Pro, and what that actually does, and it's so expensive, of course, it has faceplates that are actually removable. So if you look at this, you see that the faceplate the face on this is just, it is what it is, obviously. It's a $35 mouse, okay? The Razer Naga Pro, you can either switch to just like a few buttons, you can switch to the Super MMO, or the thing in between, which is still not enough buttons. <laughs> this is the sweet spot, I I'm telling you. It, it, and, and the thing is, once you learn on it, you can't go back. And so this is how they get you. But this is how they get you for 35 bucks, you know? I'll take it. The software, basic, but fine. And you can see it right here. Basically, you can program each of these at will. You know, two, three, four, five. You can do whatever you want. Left button, right button, middle button, forward, back, three click, RGB, on, off, fire key, whatever you want. DPI up and down. But then of course you just use key combination here and then you can do literally any key that you want or combination of keys, which is awesome. There's also macros built into it. I personally don't use it, but that is what it is. It also has a full suite of RGB lighting if you're into that. And I of course am. Right now I have it on the breathing mode, you know, so it's, breathing a certain color right now, right? So <laughs> just, just different sorts of colors. But then, you know, you can change it if you want to just steady, which is always good, or do some crazy colorful streaming or whatever it is you want. And you know, it, it is a really, it's really nice software. I mean, it just does what it's supposed to do. This is one of the things that I absolutely love about Red Dragon is that their stuff just works. Like it's cheap, but it's not cheap. You know, like, yeah, I can tell this is a little bit cheaply made, the plastic, I mean, it's plastic, you know, but at the same time, it works really well, doesn't die on me, feels good, makes me want to buy more of them, perform as well as I want to perform in games, and I can't imagine going another way. And for $35, why would you? So this is my love letter to this mouse. Hey, still a really young channel as of this recording, uh, like and a subscribe if you like tech gaming stuff always appreciated, moves the needle a lot, and uh, see you in the next one. Don't forget to have fun.